Few things in the night sky get people as excited as a comet. Right now, you can go outside with a pair of binoculars or a telescope and see one of the best comets so far of 2024. On April 21st, comet 12P Pons Brooks will make its closest pass to the sun, making it the brightest it's going to be in the night sky for us to see that evening. For those of us who live in the Northern Hemisphere, the best time to go out and see this comet is going to be from mid-March to mid-April. Go outside about 45 minutes after sunset and look towards the west. With a pair of binoculars, scan the sky around the constellation Andromeda and Aries to see if you can spot a small blurry cloud. If you have a telescope, see if you can get more detail out of it and perhaps even a faint tail as the sky continues to darken before the comet gets too low to the horizon. As March moves to April, a great opportunity to view it will be on April 12th, when it will be right near the planet Jupiter. Using my pair of 10 by 50 binoculars, I'll be able to fit them both in the same field of view on that night. At this point, it might even be possible to see Pons Brooks as a small, dim object with just the naked eye. By the time the comet makes its closest approach to the sun on April 21st, those of us in the Northern Hemisphere will be fighting the sky glow after sunset, making views more difficult, even though the comet will be at its brightest. For the few of you that find yourself under the path of totality for the great American total solar eclipse coming up on April 8th, you might even be able to see Comet Pons Brooks in the middle of the day if you're under that path where 100% of the sun will be covered by the moon for just a few minutes. If you want to spare a few seconds during the two or three minutes of totality, you could take a pair of binoculars and try to find it near Jupiter. Although honestly, I would just enjoy the total solar eclipse if you find yourself in that path. Now let's switch to the night sky in Australia to track it from the perspective of the southern hemisphere. From mid to late March, Comet Pons Brooks will begin to move above the horizon and probably won't be at a comfortable observing height until the first or second week of April. At its closest point to the sun on April 21st, you'll find it in the constellation Taurus, with excellent views of it starting about an hour after sunset. The southern hemisphere will continue to enjoy Pons Brooks as it dims every night while making its closest approach to Earth around June 2nd. If you're able to get out to observe her image, Comet Pons Brooks, be sure to let us know about your experience seeing it in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.